This Ask Energy question is from Mike. Mike, thank you very much for this question. And the question is one that I get quite often is, if I'm not hungry after working out, do I need to eat something? Great question. And there, unfortunately, is not an easy response to this because the first thing we need to ask is what type of workout? Okay, so let's qualify this. If it is a strength workout, resistance training workout, then I would say yes, absolutely. Not to force feed your body, but you absolutely need to eat a little bit of carbohydrate and a little bit of protein after strength workouts. Why? Because we're trying to improve protein synthesis because think of it this way. When you are lifting or moving heavy things, lifting weights or moving heavy things, uh, number one, you should be eating carbohydrate and protein before that session. But during that session, you're actually breaking down a little bit of muscle protein. The purpose of eating before and after carbohydrate and protein is to minimize the amount of muscle proteins that are lost, essentially. Okay, So we're trying to come out with what's called net protein synthesis, so you're not losing too much. So if it is a strength or resistance training workout, absolutely, you should eat at least a little bit of something. I would recommend about 10 grams of protein, about 20 grams of carbohydrate. It's not a lot. You can drink it. You can have a shake. It's totally fine. But for resistance, strength-based strength -based workouts, yes, please eat or consume something small afterwards. Now, if it's more cardiovascular-based workouts, so you can think of just endurance-based or even HIIT training for the most part, it kind of depends, right? So I get this. If you're not hungry after a cardio-based workout, it happens to a lot of us, right? Because exercise, specifically cardiovascular exercise, sometimes suppresses hunger. So here is where I would say it depends on what your goals are, Mike. So there are two ways to look at it. If your goals are to improve your body's fat burning ability, so using more of its energy store or more of its fat stores for energy, then I would say wait until you're hungry because after a workout, your body is actually primed to burn fat, primed to burn fat, right? So you can actually slow down that process of burning fat after a workout by consuming a lot of carbohydrates. So if your goal is to teach your body, to encourage your body to use more of its fat stores as energy, then just wait until you're hungry, listen to your body cues, right? Have some water, some electrolytes to rehydrate. Now, on the second part of it, if, you're, if your goal is to replenish your carbohydrate stores as quickly as possible, meaning you need to do another workout or wh whatever reason you would need to just flood your body with carbohydrates to improve your muscle glycogen stores, which could be a valid goal, totally depends on what you're doing, right? Then I would say, yes, it is extremely important to feed something within about an hour of that cardiovascular, after that cardiovascular workout. Now, I don't want you to force feed, um, but again, if you're trying to put more gas in your tank and that gas is carbohydrate, you need to fill it up immediately afterwards because after exercise, your body's actually in this heightened state of actually absorbing glycogen and absorbing carbohydrates. So if your goal is to rush those carbohydrates coming back in your body, I would highly recommend feeding, and it could be a liquid. It could be a smoothie with carbohydrates, a little bit of protein, milk, protein powder, Greek yogurt, something like that, absolutely. Or you can just have a great meal or a larger snack within about an hour after finishing. So it, it just kind of shows you that, you know, a lot of times media, floods us with, you have to do this, you should do this, you shouldn't do this. You actually have to step back and think of, well, what are my goals here? What am I trying to accomplish? If you're trying to use more fat as energy, then hold off feeding a lot of carbohydrates, okay? If you're trying to rush your body and storing carbohydrates, then absolutely feed more carbohydrates in that post-cardiovascular workout. Now, I talk a lot more about this in my new edition of my metabolic efficiency training book, which you can get at the energy performance website, uh, because this is one of the things regarding metabolic efficiency training is it's trying to answer the question, when and what should I feed based on my goals, my health goals, my longevity goals, my athletic performance goals. So Mike, I hope that answers your question. Thank you so much for submitting it.